The buzz and the hype is high for The Sims 4 Cottage Living Expansion Pack, and we've had lots of terror reactions and lots of reviews already about the initial impressions, but now it turns out that we might be getting groceries back as well. Before we go ahead and get started, my name is Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, speculation, and info videos. And my question for you today is, are you excited for this pack or any of the base game updates that might be coming? So I will get into some more predictions about base game updates, but this is actually being reported by, of course, a Sims community. And it is actually not just speculation. Sims 4 Cottage Living is going to be bringing back groceries. So let's get right into it. If you've ever played The Sims 2, you know the stress of having to refill an empty fridge. Well, it really wasn't too stressful considering there was a grocery delivery service with a delivery man and a delivery truck full of groceries waiting at your doorstop just a few hours after your order. In Sims 3, we had a grocery store rabbit hole where you could purchase fresh ingredients for cooking. However, it was more of an optional feature and you could buy the missing ingredients every time your Sims wanted to cook but didn't have what was required. However, in Sims 4, the concept of groceries was completely forgotten, like many things. Well, up until today. In the official blog post for The Sims 4 Cottage Living, The Sims team revealed a new lot challenges feature. Although they haven't shared much about what those new lot challenges are, they did share some important information regarding the new Simple Living Lot Challenge, which comes with a new grocery gameplay. The Simple Living Lot Challenge makes cooking cheaper, but it also means recipes depend entirely on what you've got in your inventory. Forage in the nearby woods for mushrooms and berries, burrow for some milk and eggs from your animals, and keep your garden full. Missing something? Place an order with the local grocery shop and get all your ingredients delivered right to your doorstep, which is interesting because I don't think... That means we're going to get cars, but you never know. <laughs> Besides the new grocery orders, the team also talked a little bit about running your own grocery stall and even the ability to order chocolate milk from the grocery store. Have a Henford heart-to-heart -heart with the pub owners at the Gnome's Arms or the Sims running the grocery stall for some wild stories and gossip. You'll need to find some choco berries out in the wild or add them to your grocery delivery order to get chocolate milk. There's a lot we have yet to discover about lot challenges and ordering groceries, but it would be cool to know what we're getting for that extra layer of realism in The Sims 4. So I will say it does sound like maybe groceries are going to be limited to this pack. However, sometimes we do get base game updates that are related to the expansion pack. So I wouldn't say necessarily that means that you have to have the pack to get groceries. Of course, this is information we're probably going to be finding out in the future. And yes, as you know, there's probably way more information I still have yet to cover, but I just wanted to get this out there that we look like we're going to be getting some groceries into back into the game. Now, I know for some people you might say, what's the big deal? But again, it's just that added sense of realism, and I'm really going to be interested to see what other things they're going to deliver on in the future. On the note, I will let you go, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.